Today we're talking with John Kontek, the CEO of West Red Lake Gold, and I have a, a question. We, we live in a world that, that is now divided into money is what? It, is it modern monetary theory in the United States? You just keep printing it? Is it Keynesian uh, economics uh, in practiced in Europe? Is it the, the Chinese who we think uh, worship gold uh, secretly? Uh, so is gold really an asset class in, in this uh, world of multi-economic uh, systems? Well, and, and, and it really one thing that we're, is becoming uh, very new uh, at every turn, it seems to be, is, is money. Uh, Cryptocurrencies is another thing that can be mentioned. All right, uh, all right. So there's many ways, you know, money supply uh, policy uh, by central banks. Uh, the thing about the gold sector uh, and gold as an asset class uh, is its unique position within the foundations of the financial system and its historic place in being there. And I don't see how that has changed. I think if anything, present okay. economic policy, monetary policy uh, has paints a bright future for, for gold as an economic sector. Okay, thank you. Chris Thompson, have you got an opinion? Well, I think gold is more than an asset class because like right now, uh, when you're looking at the demand for gold, it comes from things like jewelry and technology, as well as investments and, and things you can't control, like uh, flows into in and out of ETFs uh, affected, as well as the purchases of central banks. So I think it's a little bit more than just an asset class because it, there's a lot of uh, supply and demand issues from various different groups that affect the price and 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 uh, the demand for the product. And Byron? Well, I think, yes, gold is an asset class. I mean, traditionally, gold was money. I mean, there's that famous comment from J.P. Morgan that, you know, gold is money, everything else is credit. Um, even though we're 110 years removed from that comment, I still think that gold is the foundation of money. I mean, you can build other things on top of the system that's underlain by gold, you know, your, your, your Bitcoins and everything else. But, but at the, at the end of the day, uh, it's, it's gold in a mine that has value, holds value, preserves value over time. Uh, Byron, I, I have to say that I'm coming around to agreeing with you in, in, in life. So uh, John, do you have comments on the comments by our colleagues? Well, it reminds me of uh, how, what I've said that if you're, managing a gold company, you have to be a, a, a part-time macroeconomist. L luckily, my undergraduate degree was, on, was in macroeconomics. And I sometimes I think of my, my professors uh, and, 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 and what they would, if I asked them what, what they thought of current central bank policy, uh, current fiscal policy on, on Capitol Hill, Washington, and Ottawa, and in Brussels, and Beijing. And I, 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 I I know what they're going to say, that the, these are very unsound economic policies. There may be short term uh, uh, benefits, you know, to historically low, historically low interest rate policy and, and fiscal deficits. Uh, but it's it's um, it, there's a day of reckoning and, and, and it's put and, and all of this has created a lot of stress uh, on the financial system. And and that eventually that shows up in the price of gold as an asset uh, and as an asset class because of its unique uh, base uh, foundation uh, uh, location in the financial system. And, and, and one could look at macroeconomics right now and think that a very good day for gold is in the near future. Okay. I, I just uh, want to wrap this up with a comment by a fellow who learned his economics in the School of Art Knox. Uh, it seems to me that what's happening with inflation in, in the Western world, US, Europe, Canada, it, it, and, and the price of gold is that the, the, the actual value of money is, is sort of just going up and down. It's in a yo-yo mode and gold doesn't know what to do because gold doesn't, the gold market doesn't want to ally itself with any one of these currencies because it doesn't know if these currencies are worth anything. That's, that's my view from, from, from the distance. And uh, you gentlemen, uh, what's your view? Well, I think that when you're looking at the world economy these days with the amount of money being spent, uh, the concern about inflation, uh, you know, did help support the price of gold um, because you, you, you had markets where, uh, you know, countries were spending a lot of money to support the economies. 
due to the COVID crisis. Um, but I think you're also seeing, you know, ebbs and flows into things like cryptocurrency. But the World Gold Council did release a report uh, in December saying that they didn't, um, when they did their studies on the impact, uh, they did not see the cryptocurrency market as being affecting uh, the actual market for gold itself. So I think other the demand for other asset classes like real estate might be affecting the overall uh, demand for gold, and that's why you're seeing, you know, some of the pressure on the on the downward side. Do, do you gentlemen see a, a distinction between the attitude towards gold as, as an investment in the United States and the rest of the world? The reason I ask this is that I well remember my father saying he used to have a few gold coins in his pocket when he walked around Winnipeg in 1925. I don't know any Americans who can remember having a gold coin as a currency in their pocket. And Americans don't seem to know much about this. Well, gold has pretty much been beaten out of the American consciousness over many, many years. You know, there's still, you know, there's 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 the gold bugs, and there's sort of the you know the people who buy newsletters who I who I've written to for many, many years. You know, there's those, but uh, you, you, we haven't seen really gold take off in the younger generation in 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 recent years. At the same time, though, I, I get back to the, what I said earlier on a day when uh, or, or in a time when when certain other assets can move, you know, 40 and 50 percent in a matter of you know days or weeks, you know, where Bitcoin can fall in half and people just say, oh, yeah, Bitcoin fell in half or Facebook can drop 20 percent in one day. And people say, oh, yeah, hey, look, Facebook, if, if gold moved 20 percent up or down or 40 percent or 50 percent up or down in, in a day or a week or a month, people would look and say, well, something has broken. Something is wrong if, if gold makes that big of a move that quickly, which gets back to the point of gold is a foundational asset for preserving wealth over the long time. Something people in the rest of the world get, something people in North America, maybe not so much to their, to their, to their sadness someday. All right, uh, with that, uh, uh, on that high note, thank you very much <laughs> gentlemen for this discussion. And I'm sure we'll be returning to it for the rest of time, gold. <laughs>